you know, testing my stream. I'm hoping my audio is good. It sounds, it does sound really echoey, doesn't it? Hold on. Hopefully this thing is good. Hello, echoey. I gotta set up my setup. Hopefully, I have a pretty good mic, so it shouldn't be too bad. Is it better? It should be better now. Is it better? I listened to it for a bit. It was fucking horrible. Uh, new PC. No. Well, this is my. This is the PC that I built last year. Uh, I just reset the Windows. Um, what am I going to do today? I'm going to be doing some coding. Uh, I have a couple hours. I'm going to be up for like a little bit. I'm going to be. I'm probably going to sleep at like 2 a.m. So I'm going to try to do some do some coding. I haven't really done much side coding for a while. So this is going to be a way to kind of like get back. I need to, let me get headphones real quick. Because I need to make sure my audio is good. If my audio is not good, then it's going to be a problem when it comes to recording. So I have a, I have a plan to, uh, whoops, that's my chair. I have a plan to make some videos soon. I wanted to test my stream. Is my stream good? Let me... I haven't even done anything with my settings yet. All right, let me listen to my mic. Uh, let's see. Playback. All right, test one, two, three. Yeah, it is pretty echoey because I don't have a, my, I'm in my living room and there's really not much going on in my living room. Like it's pretty empty here. I mean, I have furniture, just not really too much, so that's why it, there's a pretty big echo. Uh, let me just make sure that my settings are good. Yeah, so I haven't really, I didn't really configure my settings, but hopefully the upload speed and the upload speed that I put is good. I'm talking about the bit rate. Let me just double check. Stream output. I haven't streamed for a while. Okay, it's 2500 bit rate. It shouldn't be too bad because... I mean, we're not really playing any video games or anything like that. It's just coding. Did I get Windows 11? No. Nope. Is it out yet? I'm kind of like out of the loop, you know? There's a lot of things that I'm not too familiar with at the moment because uh, I've just kind of been MIA. So have, I've kind of been MIA. You can see, like, I don't even, I haven't really been paying much attention too much coding stuff. Like I heard a lot of stuff been going on. Like there's a new Discord JS version or some shit. So yeah. Hey, Mark's wrench. How are you? I've not really looked into Windows 11. So uh, let's see. I So I have a plan to make a new Discord JS dashboard or Discord dashboard uh, with Node.js because the last one that I made was pretty, it was, it was, in my opinion, the project was nice, but it's just that it was too complicated to continue because it was just such a large project and that was kind of a mistake on my part for like, you know, uh, doing like all that kind of stuff and just like abandoning it. So I didn't really, I mean, I think, you know, it was a good structure, but I just didn't really have much time to continue. So I'm just going to have to start all over again. Why did I move to Linux? I have Windows. This is Windows. Windows. So, okay, so uh, can someone tell me, like, how do I get what Discord JS 13? Like, I, I saw, like, some article or something like that, but I haven't really been paying attention. So, like, is there really any point on checking? What's, like, the main difference? Because I haven't really been, you know, paying much attention. Uh, hey, Cinnamon Roll. Haven't seen you for a while. Why don't I move to Linux? Uh, I tried, but I didn't really like it. So I decided to just stick with, uh, stick with Windows. So... I don't really like Linux all that much, to be honest with you. 
I like it for server devel- uh, I like it for uh, servers, like like hosting applications. But like using it like like as an everyday operating system is not something that I'd like to do. Um, oh, let's see. There's so many things that I gotta that I gotta do. I gotta get my Figma uh, application all set up. I haven't really done much with Figma in a while. See if they change logs. I have a lot of stuff that I want to do. The last project, the last side project that I've worked on, it was this recipe journal application. Um, I didn't really get a chance to finish it because I've kind of been so busy with a lot of things. But um, it was this application that I wanted to build. I didn't get a chance to finish it. So I might do some coding tonight. Uh, I need a, I kind of haven't really done much, to be honest with you. Create React app. Uh, let's see. React. It's been a while. I haven't really been doing much because I've been really busy with uh, moving. So, planning on getting back into streaming and making videos this month. Uh, today is what day is today? Today's Monday. Oh, today's Tuesday. Oh, shit. Today's Tuesday. So it's almost, so we're midway into this week, so that's good. Yeah, I definitely want to make a new React JS based dashboard for Discord. Luke. Hey, bro, enjoy it. Keep them coming. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, my channel has been kind of like inactive for a while. And, and you know, it's, uh, it's because I've been really busy. Three PM. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I actually moved uh, across the country. I used to live in New York, but I moved to the West Coast. I'm not sure why this is taking so long. To why is this taking so long? MPX. Usually this takes like a couple of uh, a couple seconds, but for some reason it's taking forever. But I moved. Yeah, I recently moved. That's why I've been so busy. But um, it's been a mixture of busy and, and laziness because I've been busy with like other stuff too, and I haven't really uh, had. The desire to really pay much attention to YouTube. But yeah, I'm three hours, I'm three hours more behind now. I'm three hours more behind. Oh, I don't even have Git. See, this, this, uh, this desktop is so new. Not, not like the computer itself, but it's just like I reinstalled Windows. It's so brand new. I don't even have Git installed. So I got to install Git. I got to install Git. I haven't even downloaded Git yet. Uh, let me actually do that real quick. I sh uh, downloads, Windows. Hopefully I can just install Git and not need to restart my computer and it'll just work just fine. I also need to set up like SSH keys for my repositories, but for now we'll do everything, uh, we'll do everything, you know, um, local for now. We're not really gonna have a repository. Uh, let's see. You know, I remember back in January of this year, um, I was like, there was like this goal that I wanted to do where I want to stream every single day. And I was doing it for like a couple of days, but I got, I kind of got tired, but that was kind of like, you know, that was pretty fun. Like we had a goal of like doing something new every single day. Uh, but you know, I definitely want to get back into streaming. So... That's something that we'll have to worry about in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming weeks. I've just uh, you know I haven't really had much of a need or a desire to be on my computer as much as before because I moved and I've just kind of been going out a lot more. Well, first I've obvious I'm obviously focusing on my my job uh, and then also. After work, I just go out and I just like, you know, just chill. So I haven't really touched my main computer much. I finally got the Twitch authorization code flow working in Node. If I query the API for use the idea, I have to pass it to the React component. Uh, well, you would call the API in use effect and then you would pat and then you would update a state variable inside the use effect callback function. So I think I have a video that shows you how to do that 
in, on my channel, but I have a lot of plans because if you look at most of the videos that I made, uh, they're kind of, they're not really outdated, but you know, the thing that I realized is that in this, you know, in this field, everyone wants like, you know, the, the like, you know, new videos, even if there's not much changes with like the API, people want new videos. So I'm definitely going to have a lot to, to do to catch up. Uh, yo, what's up, Jonathan? I'm doing good. How about you? I definitely have a lot to uh, catch up on, you know, so uh, it's going to take some time. It shouldn't take too long. But I definitely need to figure something out to, you know, make the audio in my room a lot more better. Okay, so we got Git working, so that's good. Test React. And I have a completely brand new uh, fresh copy of Visual Studio Code. Uh, literally, it's the default theme, if anyone's asking, because I know a lot of people tend to ask for the theme that I use, but this is the thief default theme. Um, I might install a new one later, but I meant to also use TypeScript, uh, TypeScript, because I usually use TypeScript with React now. I rarely ever use JavaScript, unless if, unless if it's for work, I use JavaScript at work, but when it comes to like my own personal projects, I tend to uh, gear towards TypeScript. So, let me see something real quick. Yeah, we got 14 people. Surprisingly, there's 14 people here. I didn't think anyone would, would actually be here watching, uh, to be honest with you. I, I didn't actually think anyone would be here watching. But that's cool. I don't really, uh, I don't really uh, you know, mind the company. So, um, let's see. So what I want to do is, uh, let's see, I'm not even subbed. I just randomly seen you on my trending reel. I'm on people's trendings. That's crazy. That's crazy. That, well, that's good to know. That's good to know that I'm on people's trendings. Let me zoom in a little bit. So, Eggy. Yo, what's up, Eggy? Uh, Nish Karsh. Nish Karsh. How's it going? All right. So, uh, I should, you know, I should set up everything, honestly, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a full stack developer, so I should set up my environment and making sure that I have everything that I need. So let me just, I'm going to create an express app too. And we're just going to build like a simple API kind of thing. You know, we'll probably do some testing if we have time. Express API. Oh. Uh, let me just have my chat open. What are you working on now? Uh, I'm just kind of like, you know, going through the basics. I'll probably end up building, honestly, like a Discord dashboard. Who knows? Um, if you, In case you guys don't know, I built one last time, but uh, I kind of like, you know, went off on a little break. So I'm going to have to like build like a more simpler one because the one that I had, it was way too confusing in my opinion. Like the one that I had, like, let me actually see if I can look at it real quick. I, I had a dashboard and there was like so much stuff going on. Like there was the main, you know, dashboard and then there was also the Nest.js stuff and I feel like that's why it confused so many people. This time I'm only going to focus on just, you know, the dashboard and I'm also going to focus on the express part. I'm not going to use Nest. I wanted to experiment a little bit but I felt like, you know, like it was just too complicated. It was too frustrating uh, in my opinion. So it wasn't really like the best in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Are you into cybersecurity? Not, not, not too much. No, I'm, mo I mostly focus on full stack at the moment, um, because that's just, that's just what I do for work. So that's what I'm really focusing on. Uh, Bao Lam Nguyen, how's it going? So you're gonna code my new website, a dashboard? Maybe, maybe. We'll have to see. So I don't really have a, I don't really have a mock either. I don't even have a mock. So we're, I might, I could make one. I could make a mock, like a, like a wireframe. Uh, but we're kind of, we're going to kind of just need to, you know, go off on a, we're going to have to do this blindly. What are you coding some HTML and react? Yeah. HTML and react. We're going to kind of just have to do this blindly. Uh, hopefully I can, you know, nail it. What is a mock? I'm at, I'm at wireframe. I'm at wireframe. Uh, yo, what's up? Sandeep. Sandeep. Oh, I don't even have yarn installed. I got to install yarn. Let me install Yarn. Yarn is way better. Maybe that's why it took so long because I didn't have Yarn installed. Maybe that, because NPM, it was using NPM by, by default when I was trying to uh, use, uh, when I was trying to use Create React. Maybe that's why. Let me just install Yarn real quick. Yarn install. 
Uh, let's see, npm i hyphen g yarn. Is it me or is my mic distorted? My microphone is a little bit weird. It's because I am in my living room and it's pretty, my living room is pretty empty. So there's going to be a lot of echo. So I apologize for that. Hopefully it's not too bad. I can lower the voice a little bit. But if, if it doesn't work out, uh, I'll probably just like, you know, I'll probably just honestly, um, I'll probably just move my computer into my bedroom so, because my bedroom is smaller, so, and I can obviously just close the door. So hopefully that will kind of help the audio. Uh, oh, running scripts. Okay, I gotta enable scripts. How to enable scripts on terminal? Yeah, this is this is this this installation. This Windows this Windows is very new. I literally have not done anything yet. Uh, let me see, PowerShell, execution. Okay, there we go, yarn works, perfect. I have been up for like 16 and a half hours. I suck at coding, how may I improve? You can improve by just doing little projects, doing little coding assessments. Uh, like, you know, each day, and then over time, you'll gradually see some improvement. That's the only way to get better is just by doing it, by doing more coding. What are you coding right now? I am just kind of like getting my environment set up. You know, let me actually just, uh, actually, I'm just getting my environment set up because I haven't really been coding too much with side projects. I've mostly just been focusing on like design, like on my free time, but like I haven't really spent much time on my computer either. The only time that I spend on my computer usually is just to like, you know, check like my email or like, you know, check certain things. Cause I usually, I haven't really, you know, been doing much on the computer. Uh, for those who are just joining, cause you know, we have, we had 14 people earlier, now there's 23, you know? So like, I just want to let you guys know that I actually have been really busy in July and June. I was actually moving. I'm actually in my new place. Uh, like right now, I don't, for those who are watching my stream back in like, I think, maybe I think February or January, I was saying how like I was gonna move uh, back then and you know, like uh, I actually moved already. So I'm in my new place now, which means, you know, I'm all situated. I can start getting back into streaming. Uh, I can start making videos whenever I want. It was really difficult making videos back in my old place, back at home because I didn't really have, uh, you know, much space. Uh, I didn't really have much space at home. Uh, and I couldn't really like, you know, make videos uh, during like the during like 9 a.m. to like, you know, I couldn't make videos after 9 a.m. because it was just really noisy because I, I lived I lived at home with my parents, with my family. So and I really didn't want to make videos that had so much background noise. So that was the main reason why I never made videos. I didn't make too many videos on those days or stream much. But, um, you know, now that now that I have my own place and on weekends, I can actually make videos literally whenever I want. I can stream whenever I want. Um, and I actually, like, I'm actually three hours behind, so if you live in, like, the UK, or if you live in, like, you know, on the other side of the, of the if you live on, like, the uh, Eastern Hemisphere, like, if you live in, like, Asia or something, uh, I think it's actually easier for you guys, because before I was streaming from New York, and I think in India, for example, there were, like, there were, like, some people who were watching from India, I think it was, like, about, uh, I think it was, like, I think 11 hours ahead, so now it's like if you're watching from India, it'd be like 14, 15 hours ahead. So I think that'd be easier for a lot of people because that means it would be uh, Iraq, 848 AM. Yeah, my streams are like podcasts. You know, that's, that's great to hear. What time is it in India right now? Let me, let me see. What time is it in Bangalore? 11.19. See, that's a lot easier for a lot of people. See, it's a lot easier for a lot of people to watch because a lot of people don't really like to be up early, like around 8 a.m. They like to be up around like 11 a.m. ish. So, you know, um, can't really blame them. You know what I mean? Can't really blame them. But yeah, like I moved and I'm happy. Like it's been it's been good. Like it's been a month so far since I've moved. And, you know, um, I really like it a lot. Can't complain. I should, I was, I'm thinking about, get, I might get a GoPro soon, and uh, there's actually this style of videos that I want to make, 
Uh, I haven't really told much much people about it, but it's just something that I thought of making, and I'm gonna try it out and see if people like it. So I have you know some ideas in mind on videos that I want to make that are coding related, but I want to do a mixture of coding videos mixed with like you know more real life. So it's kind of like you know how do I explain this? It's kind of like you know it's gonna be like a long video, and then there's like you know the first you know five ten minutes would be like you know short like you know recap, and then in the middle would be like you know, a coding tutorial, and I want to make it more interactive. Like, I want to, you know, have, like, a video cam, you know, showing, like, you know, me and stuff. So that way it feels more interactive and, you know, like, adding some, you know, video editing effects and stuff. Like, you know, I, do, I definitely want to do that. I also need to purchase another s subscription for Adobe because uh, I actually canceled it because uh, I wasn't going to use it for, like, a couple months. So I'm going to actually have to, I need to subscribe to it again. How do I take command in one channel and send a message to another channel? Uh, you would have to find that other channel and you would have to send that, you would have to use that other channel object to send the message to it. Uh, what, uh, so it's weird, India time is fully diff, but like it's 40 in USA, but in India, but 19 in India, WTF. I think it's just based on minutes, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't be the way to go if you want to edit vids. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of plans, guys, don't worry. Lots of plans. Uh, I just need to actually sit down and just code, you know, because I haven't really been doing that. I've mostly just been doing, like, I've, I've mostly just been playing around with Figma because I have this side project that I'm working on uh, for, like, a friend of mine. And I've just been focusing on design. But in terms of, like, coding much, the last thing that I did was, like, you know, I was working on this other side project. But I just need to sit down and code. That's, that's really it. Let me go ahead and uh, let's see. Let me do something real quick. Let me. Oh, I should also install TypeScript too. I legit have nothing. Yarn add hyphen G. TypeScript. Uh, list of packages. Did I do this wrong? Yarn add global. I'll just install it with npm. Screw it. Oh wow, that was really fast. All right, so TypeScript works. Awesome. We should also install NodeMon too. I'm gonna try something real quick. Let me, I'm gonna delete this test react folder and I'm gonna go ahead and remake it, but I'm gonna set a TypeScript template, TS node. Yeah, I'll install that too. Anson, your mic is kind of loud and weird. Um, it's too echoey, yeah. It's too echoey. Let me move my mic back a little bit. Let me turn it down. All right, Jonathan. Uh, see you later. Have a good one. The quality is good, I think, right? The quality of the stream itself is good. Like, it's not pixelated. I'm just, I'm really testing my upload speed. Uh, but it's just a microphone that's kind of bad, right? Like, the microphone, you guys, you guys would say the microphone is pretty bad, right? It's pretty echoey. It's, the, the microphone is pretty echoey, right? Can you use React as a front end in Flask or Django as the back end? Yes, of course. Uh, so it might not be at 1080p, but we can all see it well, but your mic is livable to hear it's not horrible. What, okay, so what exactly is the problem with the mic? I just wanna make, cause I'm not really listening. Let me actually listen to it real quick. Okay, yeah, it's too loud, and um, it's too loud, and there's kind of like an echo, I think. And the microphone, okay, let me actually lower the volume a little bit. Should be better now. Okay, it should be better now. It, sh it was just too loud, I think. Okay, yeah, now it's using yarn. Okay, good. If there's an echo, it's because, like I said, I'm in my living room, but if the echo is really that bad, I'll have to really record a video or like record a couple seconds of me talking and then really listen to it. But if anything, I can always like, you know, uh, edit out the, I can just noise cancel with uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay. But yeah, so Cal, uh, to go into detail with, with uh, you know, using front end uh, with React and Flask or Django's back. Yeah, so the nice thing about these front end frameworks is that you can literally use any backend you want. 
Like the back end is independent from the front end. Now, unless if you use like a template engine, like let's say for example, if you're using a Django, right? And with Django, like you use like the built-in rendering system, like then you're kind of stuck, you know, using that. It's, it's kind of like similar to if you've ever used Express and if you've used EJS to render all of your front end stuff, it's kind of similar to that. You would want to avoid doing that I honestly never recommend anyone to use EJS, even if you're like just learning, like, you know, front end. Like, I would never recommend EJS because EJS is like not even, like, there's not really that many companies that even ask you to use EJS because most of the times they just use React or Angular or Vue. No, EJS, no, EJS is not good. Anyone that tells you that is just lying. Do not use EJS for a big project. The problem with EJS is that, like, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just like, it's not suitable for a big project because when your code gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it's gonna be a lot more annoying having to, you know, do all of those things with EJS, like passing in all of those properties from like the Express API literally into your template. So I would not recommend it at all. Finally, someone to go with the EJS thing. Yeah, I don't know why people would wanna use EJS. I mean, it's good if you are learning, if you're just getting started, but long-term, I would recommend just doing something else. Yeah, you should definitely learn React, in my opinion. React is literally, honestly, React is the standard now. Like, literally, React is actually, like, it's kind of, like, mandatory to, to know React now, in my opinion, because, like, with almost every single full-stack developer job, most jobs, you're going to find React is going to be, like, a requirement. So Unless if it's, it's either going to be Angular or React. Those are, like, the, the main two right now. It's, you're, you're either going to deal, you're either going to have to learn Angular or you're going to have to learn React. If you want to pick between which one to learn, you should pick the one, you should honestly learn both so you can see the differences because both frameworks will teach you different patterns and different ways of doing things. But uh, honestly though, like if you're trying to get a job, learn both, find a time and just learn both, do like a project in, one, in both of them and just, you know, put more focus into the one that you need to use for work. Like for example, I was always an Angular guy, but because I got a job that uses React, I had to put more time and focus into React. And now I use React for literally every project now because I just really don't really have a desire to use Angular anymore because I've kind of, you know, got used to React and doing certain things with the React and I kind of like it. So I can't really complain, you know? Um, but yeah, like, that's just my, that's just my opinion though, you know, that's just my opinion. You can learn whatever you want and learning anything is better than, you know, learning nothing. I usually use HTML, CSS, JS, like coding vanilla. I was never interested in React. What do you think? Should I learn it though? Uh, well, okay. So here's the thing. It really, again, it depends on what your goals are, right? If you're trying to build like a simple website that does not need so much dynamic rendering, like let's say for example, if you need to fetch data from a backend and you need to render that and, and you're, you need to do lots of renders and lots of updates, then, you know, you can definitely do that with regular JavaScript, but it's just going to be real. It's going to get to a point where your project going to be so big that you're going to real, you're going to ask, is there an easier way to do this? Right. And the whole point of react or, you know, view or angler is to, is to solve that problem of rent of like, you know, doing things like conditional rendering, dynamically rendering, all that kind of stuff. So it really depends on what your goals are. If you build small websites, then you don't have to worry so much about it. If you build large websites, then you might want to consider a framework. Right now, I've been using purely Flash for a prototype of a website, but I hope to learn more frameworks like Django, Vue, uh, Angular, but especially React. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, if you're just getting started, you know, learning whatever you're learning right now is completely fine. There's no need to rush. Right? There's, there's really no need to rush. Like, it's not really a race or it's not, it's not like, you know, you're, like you're not playing Forza. You know, just learn whatever you need to learn and just be patient and just make sure you actually understand what it is that you're doing. Because if you don't understand what you're doing, you're going to, you're going to lose interest. You're not going to have fun. The whole point of, you know, learning these things is you, you want to be able to build applications and you want to have fun at the same time. What CSS framework is standard now in your opinion? Uh, CSS framework? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, the last, okay, CSS framework. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I really don't really know how to answer that question. The reason why I say this is because I don't really use CSS frameworks anymore. 
because I personally have used so many of them, right? I've used so many of them. I've used Bootstrap. I've used Tailwind. I've used Bulma. I've used uh, smaller ones like there was this one uh, Chakra UI. I've used I've used Sense Semantic UI. I've used a ton, and I've used Material UI as well. I've used a bunch. And the reason why I don't use any of these frameworks anymore is because um, there's a lot of problems that I that I have with it. Because one, whenever you're using whenever you're using a CSS framework, you're limited to how their components look like, and that's obviously something you have to consider, right? Like, you know, it's it's okay to want to use a CSS framework if you're, you know, um, if you're just trying to get like a fast project set up. Like, if you're if you don't have much time and you don't want to do so much design and you just want to build like you know a project really quickly, then yeah, go ahead and use a CSS framework like Tailwind. An easy one would be Bootstrap. That's one that everyone uses. If you're tired of Bootstrap, there's Chakra UI, which is pretty good. Um, but if you want to actually build your own, you know, UI that doesn't look the same as everyone else's projects, uh, the way to go is to design your own components, right? The way the way to the way to go is to design your own components because, you know, you want to design your own components for a couple reasons. One, you obviously don't want to have anyone else's, you know, uh, stuff looking like yours. Right. Uh, two, uh, whenever you design your own components, it looks a lot better. It, honestly, I, like I stopped using these frameworks and I started using, I started making my own, and I have just been really happy. Like what I do is I go on Dribble.com and let me let me open up this website for you guys real quick. Let me open up this website for you guys real quick. Uh, should I learn testing? Yes, you should definitely learn testing. Everyone should learn testing. Testing is very important. I am not a pro with testing. I'm still getting better. Like it's kind of mandatory for me to know testing because I have to, you know, test all of my code whenever I make a feature, whenever I like edit like some code at work. But you should definitely learn testing. It will help you and make you feel more confident with your code. Couldn't you implement your own components while still using CSS framework? I mean, you could, but it'd just be really, it, it would just be kind of like, it would be really frustrating because you're gonna to have to override a lot of styles, and that was the main reason why I stopped using uh, CSS frameworks. Was because I found myself constantly needing to uh, manually overriding buttons and you know a lot of padding and a lot of widths. I, I found myself having to manually override them all the time. And one day I was like, you know what? Let me just make my own components. And I was like, all right, you know, it, it can't be too hard. And you know, it's just like it just takes practice, you know. Uh, you know, obviously at first you want to, you know, if, if, like I said, if you're just getting started, don't worry so much about the design part. Just, you know, use whatever CS framework. Bootstrap is a good one. It's an easy one to use. Uh, and then, you know, once you start getting into, once you want to get into more design, then you can start focusing more on building out your own components. That's my suggestion. Uh, thanks for your vids. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate uh, your, your message. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm not really too familiar with the newest, uh, you know, frameworks for CSS. I just kind of like build everything my own life. I'll give you an example, right? Like, let me go ahead and open up my React app real quick. So let me just make sure I can start everything. Uh, let's just go ahead. Uh, let's see. Wow, it's been a while since I've done this. I need to install some, some plugins too. Where are my scripts? one where's my script section shouldn't there be a script section here am i missing something or there should be like a scripts there should be like a like a play button that i can do it should be somewhere here would you like would you like to use new discord js 13 uh i would like to sure but the thing is, can someone can someone tell me like how do I get it? Cause I, I I just read one article like it said to like you had to install like the dev branch or something, but I went on the repository and I couldn't find like the dev branch or something. So uh, if someone can if someone can kindly tell me how to uh, okay Discord and and how what's what's the uh, documentation for that? Is it the master branch? I'm assuming it's the master branch, right? I'm assuming uh, it's it's this one. Is it this one?
Also, I would like to mention when I tried to write some JSON that JS file, I found that the import statement doesn't work. Okay, so the import statement doesn't work because uh, it's something that because the way that your node is because the node version that you have might not support it because uh, it uses common JS instead. So you have to do some you have to install something like Babel to transpile the code for you, or you can use like a more modern uh, you, you can use a more modern Node.js version. I think that should work. I've had that problem too. Just use Babel to just use Babel, a transpiler, or just use TypeScript. I know that's kind of not that's not really a good explanation, but um, the like I can't really I, I just really don't know too much about the error. I I know what the error is, but I can't really explain too much of it to you because I kind of like you know, just like I said, I just I just use TypeScript most of the time, so I never really ran into the issue as much. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely look into Discord JS thirteen. I'll probably do that. Uh, you know, I'll probably like live stream that or something when I do. Yeah, it's a transpiler. Transpiler. I'll, yeah, I'll uh, look into that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, I'm, I might stream tomorrow. And tomorrow uh, I can, uh, you know, look into the new, um, I can look into the, you know, the new, uh, I can look into the new Discord JS version. Why are they making a new Discord JS version? Or can someone can someone tell me? Can someone tell me like why they're making a new version? Like, does anyone know why they're making a new? Uh, oh, is it, oh, it's because of the Discord API. Yeah, I know. Like, the, I know Discord has updated a lot of things. You know, like a lot of new things has been coming to Discord. So, that's pretty cool, honestly. Okay, so let me go ahead and install a install something real quick. Uh, I'm gonna install uh, yarn add styled components because the Babel I know is a Python module. Uh, I'll link Babel to you. Babel JS. It's it's a transpiler basically. TypeScript uses Babel underneath the hood to transpile all of the TypeScript code into like compiled JavaScript. Basically, your node is likely configured to only interpret ES5, but import, import I think only works with like ES6 and above, I think. Uh, message that contemplated like message one, six. Oh, okay. Uh, Mick Dev, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Can I make React.js service server rendering? I'm not quite sure if I understand your question. Ahmed or Amdi. Are you asking if you can use server-side rendering with Re like like next something like Next.js and Express? Or are you asking if you can like take like a React app and render it server-side with Express? I just want to make sure I understand. Yes, message is now like an intent. You need to message intent to someone else. You need to use Wow. Okay. So there's a lot of there's a lot changed. Okay. Does anyone know when? Does anyone know when the new Discord Discord JS thirteen is coming out? Cause like, are a lot of people even using Discord JS thirteen? But are are a lot of people using using Discord JS thirteen though? Yo, I'm sitting here making a dashboard with the tutorial and I see your streaming, so I'm here, LMA. Aesthetical, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. Uh, but it never came out yet because Discord updates. Okay, so. Mm, okay, I see. Yeah, if I'm being honest, I have not, I have not been making Discord bots for a while, but I'm definitely, I'll definitely look into it. Like, you know, like I'll definitely take some time and you know, like looking so it shouldn't take too long, but uh, I, I just have been so out of the loop, you guys. Like, so it's gonna take me some time to get back into it, to really see like, you know, all the differences and stuff. I'm sure like, you know, there's definitely gonna be a lot of changes. Like, let me just, oh, this is stable master. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. 
First, we need to register a slash command. Oh yeah, slash commands are something that came out like a couple months ago too. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, since there's so many changes, it's definitely worth creating a new, it's definitely worth creating a brand new um, tutorial series for it. Especially for speed slash commands, V13 don't have much changes as much as they think they added. Uh, the, the only thing is, is that I wouldn't want to make a tutorial right now because just like if I make a tutorial now and then there's going to be a lot of changes that happens within like the next six months, six to 12 months. And then those, those tutorials are just going to be like kind of like useless. You know what I mean? I mean, I could make it, but it's just like, you know, the dev over at Flux Point Development had something planned with it and it kind of got fucked over by the whole intent thing. I agree. I prevent people from just making a bot this you know what I mean? So it's just mainly a message intense right is is that is that what it is message intense and what are what are interactions let's see are interactions like a new thing interaction create what exactly are they is that just like a is just like a new thing let me see uh let's look at the oh okay interactions let's look at the discord api and see what they have to say Uh, buttons, menus, slash commands. Oh yeah, I did see I did see like some buttons on the uh, on the on the chat thing. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool. So there's wow yeah there's a lot of changes with Discord. An interaction is the message that your application receives when the user uses a command. Uh, it includes the value that uses blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, wow. Definitely lots of, uh, new things coming along the way. But they, someone said they're releasing V13 next year. You should make a bot tutorial with a dashboard including releases. Sure, I could. I can. Yo, Aesthetical, thank you for joining the channel. I appreciate it. You're the first member to join uh, back to the stream. Like my first return, you're the first member. So thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Yeah, I will, uh, I'll make a uh, tutorial for bots. I, I'm going to have to plan. I have a lot of things to plan. Um, I have a lot of uh, things I need to plan, so... The first thing that I want to do is definitely. The first thing I definitely want to do is uh, catch up on Discord JS, because it's been a while since I have, you know. Done any of this stuff, I'm sure it's not going to be anything super complex. I just know that slash commands are something new. Uh, someone asked me what someone earlier. I don't know if that person's still here. Uh, someone asked me what's like the resolution of my monitor. My monitor is a 2K monitor. It's a 3440 by, I'm sorry, not 30. It's a 2560 by 1440p, if anyone's wondering. I don't know if that person's still here. But it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a 2K monitor. I specifically got it because I just I just need this monitor, uh, you know, for coding. I, I didn't want a 34 inch because I used to have a 34 inch monitor, but it was just way too wide. And it was really annoying because whenever I streamed, I always had to use my side monitor. And I had to look at the side too. At least now, like the screen that you guys are seeing, uh, I can fit a lot more stuff. And uh, it's just like, you know, I can look at it straightforward. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a, it's a lot to consider. Like, dude, your dash tour literally gave me motivation to actually make one. So thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. And I really appreciate it. And it really helps me out uh, for people who join the channel. I'm currently changing my verified bots command about five damn five hundred. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, they're like a month or two old. What is what is a month or two old? All oh, the interactions. Uh, I'm thinking of switching from eight ten eighty p. It really depends. Like here's the thing: if your if your GPU can handle it, like if you're playing video games and if you want to game in fourteen forty p, if your GPU can handle it, then definitely go for it. Uh, I don't really play much games, so you know I don't really mind using ten eighty p or fourteen forty p. But when it, but I need 1440p to code though like that's 100%. Uh, 
I haven't implemented slash commands in any of my bots. I haven't even done anything with interactions now. I only did menu and buttons. Never did slash. If you need, if you need, uh, need what? Okay, I got you. Thanks. Then thanks, instincts. I appreciate it. Yo, hopes. What's up, man? Long time no see. Uh, I hope everything is good with you, man. No pun intended. I've played with buttons a bit. Haven't done anything super advanced other than links, uh, though, as of now. You know, uh, you know what I don't like? I don't really like the new feature with threads. I think threads are kind of weird, the way that they did it. If you guys have used Slack, I was kind of expecting, I was hoping the threads would be kind of similar to how threads look like in Slack. But the threads that they have in Discord is just kind of cringe, in my opinion. Like, you know, it's just like, if someone creates a thread, it'll add it to the sidebar. But literally, like, it would just clutter everything up on the sidebar, you know? Like, I just don't really see why they would want to do that. Like, if you've, if you've used Slack before, if you guys don't know what Slack is, you can think of Slack like Discord, but for professional, like professional office use, right? Like, I use Slack for work, for example. And with Slack, whenever you create a thread, it just shows, like, the replies. Like, there's, like, a, there's like a hyperlink, and you click on it, and it'll show you the replies, uh, like, you know, like, right underneath the message. And I think that would be a lot more clean, in my opinion. I mean, I think threads are a good idea to implement to the application, but the way that they did it, I just don't think it's, a, I just don't think, I just don't like it personally. That's just my opinion. Uh, replies are there for a reason they just said. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I would actually like threads. I, I would actually personally like threads, but just the way that they did it, it was not, in my opinion, it was just a horrible way to do it, in my opinion, because it was just so like, you know, it was just, it's so, it's so cluttered, you know, like, like if I go over here, like, let me, uh, let me see if I can open up my, uh, like if, if I go over here and if I create a thread, like right over here, right? if I create a thread and then like, you know, I just, you know, like test, it, it just like lists it right over here. It's just like, it's literally like, it's literally just like another channel underneath the channel. It just doesn't really make much sense. What they should do is they should have a hyperlink that says, the number of replies, and when you click on it, it'll open it up on the side like this, and then you can see the thread. But doing it like this is just not really a good way. I mean, Discord is not, I mean, like, it wouldn't make sense if it was a forum, but this is not really a forum, this is a chat application. Uh, just Google Slack, Pavan, uh, just just Google Slack, like Slack, and they'll show you, I mean, let me, Slack, Slack threads. Yeah, just Google it on, just Google it, like Google Slack threads and you'll see it. Uh, Pavan, welcome back, man. I haven't seen you for a while too. It's glad to see you here. Uh, hey, can you do a video on alarm command where, where, message, where it sends a message to you? Particular elimination command. Uh, uh, sure. I mean, that's just, you would, you would use something like, uh, like NodeCron. Or, or, or I'm sorry, uh, schedule. I think node schedule. I think that's what it's called. Schedule. I think it's node cron schedule. Uh, uh, Mr. Falcon forty seven. How life works. Are you? Oh, I think you're asking me how life has been going. I mean, life has been okay. You know, I can't really complain. It's not you know one hundred percent exactly what I want it to be, but you know, it's it's definitely you know getting there. It isn't like gamers who the platform is made for or for the release. Anyways, I just be coming use the servers. Does Node.js support import statements? Uh, I'm not sure. Isn't that a reminder commands? Kind of, kind of. I think my dad's job uses Slack for their tech. Yeah, Slack. I mean, I like Slack. I use it for work, and it's great in my opinion. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, this is nice. I really like, uh, I really missed streaming. You know, this is a really nice uh, time that I'm having right now. I'm just, you know, sitting here chatting, looking at some documentation and just chatting with you guys. So, you know, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty chill. I'm trying to figure out how to make a vote system with top.gg where it sends a message to a voting role every 12 hours and it sends a user to a vote, so. Uh... Oh, okay, I see. If your bot is online a majority of the time, a simple set time of function work problems. Yeah, you could you could definitely do that. The only problem that you'd run up is the only problem that you'd have is if your bot crashes and you'd lose all of those uh, set timeouts. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know. Um, let me see. Are slash commands any special? 
Like, be honest. Like, is it is it even like what why are like is it what what can you do with slash commands that you just can't do with regular commands? Because like I I didn't really pay much attention to slash commands. I kind of just you know looked at it a little bit. Like I did watch someone's video and saw how they you know went about it, and you know how, like I just watched it to see what they did. But like I didn't really like you know. I mean, I don't know. Like, but do you think they would? Do you think slash commands would replace regular commands? Like, I've seen some implementations where, like, it shows, like, you know, uh, like, it, like, like, it, like, if, like, it requires like a certain amount of parameters, it shows like you know, it shows like you know, like a like a helper thing or whatever. If the person types the command incorrectly, yeah, that's true. You don't need a help command because slash commands. But here's the thing: can you do everything with slash? Let's say, for example, can you do everything with slash commands? It will replace the normal command since now you need intents, really. Yo, Pika program, what's up, man? How's it going? Welcome back. It's nice seeing you. Slash commands are quite limited. You can't just do 50 per, 50 per bot, thing, to be honest, because the normal commands are much more convenient. Uh, you've, most haven't even started in the DBs. Hold on. What exactly is going on? Oh, crap. What is this? Wait. Message intense. Isn't that just like, because then Discord... Like, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Discord release Intense, like, a couple months ago? And, um, like, I think it was version 6. Was it version 6 of the API or version 8? I'm not sure. What version are we on right now? What version are we on right now? Uh, oh, wow, I should probably start reading. Holy crap, there's been so many things that has been, cha that has been changed. I think we're on version 9 right now. The last time I think we were on version 6, right? It was like Intense came out and that kind of like made everyone required to opt into Intense. Right, yeah, I remember now. I remember, like I remember it was like October, around October they made Intense required. Um, and you need like, and then you need to, like the libraries need to make sure they update it or whatever. Uh, and now I'm guessing with Message Intense, like Message Intense, all it is is just that if you don't opt into Message Intense, you won't get the message you won't, you just won't get the message events, right? Is is that is that what it is? If you don't opt into it, you won't get the. Uh, is that what it is? Where can I see buttons to? Uh, have you heard of Discord threads already? Yeah, yeah. We actually just spoke about it, Michael. You won't be able to read message events sent. Okay, okay, I got it. Message intense. Okay, so right now you don't need message intense, but by next year they're making it so that you need message intense. Uh, Pika program finally got time for streaming. Yeah. Okay, if I'm being honest with you guys, uh, the past when was the when was the last time I streamed? Does anyone know when the last time it was that I streamed? I think it was probably like three months ago, right? The last time that I made a video was three months ago. I'll tell you guys what I've been really doing. I've been I've just been busy with work, but like on my free time, I've just kind of been. Just relaxing, like I would just pretty much like, you know, uh, I was just, you know, relaxing, playing some video games here and there. July, June, in June, I went to Arizona in June. Uh, I went there for like about a week, for eight days, and I came back and I was kind of just prepping for my move. Uh, and then in July was when I actually officially moved to Arizona from New York. So I spent like the first couple of weeks just kind of like getting situated. And even right, I mean, I think it's been a month and I'm kind of already situated already. You know, everything's going good. Um, so, you know, I got my monitors, I got my computer. My computer was shipped to me about like three weeks ago. My parents shipped it to me. And I actually disassembled everything. I disassembled uh, my computer. Like what I did was I, my original plan, uh, all right, Aesthetic will have a good one, man. Take it easy. Uh, thank, thanks for joining the, thanks for joining as a member, by the way. And I uh, hope to see you in my next stream. I right, all tracks take it easy, but uh, yeah, what I did was I took my computer apart. I left the motherboard on and I left the CPU 
and the uh, the M2, the the NVMe M2 SSD mounted onto the motherboard. But everything else I took out. Like I took out the the I took out the RAM. I took out the CPU cooler. Uh, I took out the GPU. I took out the power supply, and I kept everything else mounted on the case. Radicals. Yeah, I remember you. Welcome back, man. Yeah, I, I remember you, bro. And I, I took everything apart. I had all the original boxes. So I kept everything in the original box and I just put everything together. I had the original box and the styrofoam for my case too. Uh, and then I just put everything in the box. They packaged everything and then I had my dad ship it to me. Um, I had my dad ship it to me, so that was great. And when it came, I, uh, I just packed, I just unboxed everything. I, you know, I actually went to, I actually went to Walmart and bought some isopropyl alcohol and coffee filter to make sure to, I actually did clean the CPU uh, I actually did clean off the thermal paste, but I, I did it again just to be 100% sure. And then I just put the thermal paste on there. Uh, I assembled everything back, and I was actually really happy that everything was working just fine. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, my Discord notification just went up. Oh. But, yeah, like, that was pretty much it, you know. Like, I'm, I'm glad nothing broke. Uh, I'm glad everything worked. I had to buy new monitors, though. Uh... I actually sold my my main monitor back at uh, back at home. I actually sold a lot of things. Uh, my day is going good. I mean, it's 11:26 p.m. here. I'm probably gonna hit the hay in about a couple hours. Um, I mean, tomorrow it's gonna be Wednesday tomorrow, and I gotta get up for work at uh, 8. A I gotta get up for work at 8 a.m. So I might I might uh, I don't know I might I might end the stream in like like a couple like 30 minutes to an hour. And just, you know, I don't know, I'm, I kind of want to, I don't want to go to sleep just yet. Because I, I won't be able to fall asleep until like later in the night. But right now, what, what we've been doing was we've just been chatting. And we're just like looking into all the new things. I haven't really, uh, you know, been paying much attention to the new features with Discord. So, um, I'm still like kind of like learning a lot of things. Where did you sell your monitors? Uh, I just sold it to a friend of mine. I tried listing it online. Uh, but I kept getting a lot of lowball offers, so I just decided not to sell it to them because I'd rather just sell it to my friend anyways because at least I know them. So I sold it to my friend, uh, and I got a pretty good deal out of it in my opinion. I just didn't want it sitting at home uh, because uh, it just wasn't, I wasn't going to get any value out of it. In Germany, it's 8.30 a.m. Wow, nice. Uh, yeah, the ultra-wide the ultra -wide that I had was an Alienware. Um, it was honestly worth it. Every penny, it was worth it, because it was it was such a good monitor. But I just I couldn't bring it with me, so I just decided to sell it. Uh, what are your options on things like Discord Bot Maker and Bot Ghost? Um, I mean, I don't really have much of an opinion on Discord Bot Maker, honestly. Like, you know, I'm not, I don't want to like you know shit on it, you know, like. But I mean, if you don't want to code and if you want to make a Discord Bot, sure, you can use it. But just know that there are limitations, you know? Like, there's its pros and cons, right? I don't, I'm, I, like, there, there's pros and cons for using it, you know? It's not horrible, but it, just know that it's going to limit you to a lot of things. Uh, which programming language you are expert of? I mean, I would say I'm pretty good with JavaScript, Java, and TypeScript. I think those three are, or JavaScript slash TypeScript. I think those are the main, you know, two to three languages that, I'm, that, I'm, that, I, that I would say that I'm pretty good at. Uh, oh, by the way, if you guys want to join my Discord, the link is in the description. It should still work if you guys want to join. We actually had a lot of people join just now, which is pretty cool. Am I still maintaining Slappy? I have not really looked at Slappy for a while, unfortunately. I mean, I honestly have not paid attention to it, if I'm being honest with you. Let's just see where it's at right now. There's been a lot of issues, too. Seems like there's been a lot of issues. Yeah, I've just kind of been MIA for a while, if I'm being honest with you. I'm sure someone may have probably forked it or something and made a better version of it. But I honestly have had a, been really horrible with uh, keeping up with uh, maintaining it. So I might, I might push an update soon. It's crazy because, like, I remember eight months ago was January. Because when you tell me eight months ago, I don't even think of it as January. It's, so it's crazy to see that eight months ago was January. It's crazy how we're almost at the end of the year. 
Am I still working on Katana? No, Katana's uh, a dead project. Uh, wise Dev Helper, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope hope you're doing well. Any say about Svelte? I've never used it before, so I can't really say much about it. I'm learning C Sharp right now since Terrier mods are coded using C Sharp and it's amazing. C Sharp is by far my favorite coding language. Well, I'm glad that you like it because C Sharp is actually a pretty good language. It's pretty popular. You can do a lot with C Sharp. You can do Unity. You can do uh, .NET. You can do ASP.NET. I think those are the same things. Uh, you can do uh, Visual Basic, I think, with C Sharp. You can also do Mobile Dev with Xamarin. Lots of uh, opportunities with C Sharp. Can you add a feature of Auto MongoDB Slap and Slappy? Uh, maybe. Uh, Refluent, welcome to the stream. Your profile picture looks really familiar. Did you change your name? Uh, Cons Mongoose require you. Yeah. Do I still use TypeScript? Yes, I still use TypeScript. Always. Well, for work, we use TypeScript and JavaScript. I actually, with for work, I actually use TypeScript once, once. But we never, but everything else was just JavaScript. Everything was just JavaScript. Everything was just JavaScript. <sighs> Have I ever used Vim? Uh, yes, I, I don't, I'm not too, I'm not too pro with Vim, but I do know a little bit of commands. I, I kind of needed to, I kind of needed to learn Vim because I was actually, because I use, uh, I host on myself on a server. So it was just much easier to just, you know, edit the configs with, with Vim. What am I building now? I'm not really building much. We're kind of just chatting, you know. Uh, I'm just kind of like, you know, getting back into like learning about what's going on with Discord because there's a lot, like a lot of things. So I have a question because I'm, I'm, I'm ignorant and I don't know much about what's been going on. So... I know there's like the new feature with buttons. So can someone here tell me how do I actually get these buttons to work? Like how do I actually make it so that I can display these buttons? Like how do these buttons work is what I'm trying to ask. Cause I honestly have no idea. Like, is there any way you can actually get these buttons displayed in a message or do you recommend coding TypeScript with JavaScript? Uh, use whatever you're more comfortable with. Uh, if, if you've just started JavaScript is fine. And then later on you can progress with TypeScript. How would TypeScript be compiled to JS? Do you just need to run the command? Yes. There is an MPF package called Discord Buns. Well, the message object has so are buttons only so are our bots only able to send buttons? Is that how it works? Is it only is it only possible to send to get buttons on messages from bots? Where did you learn TypeScript? I just learned it from a YouTube video. You can find a lot. Or oh, I, I learned it from YouTube videos, and I also learned it from, I also learned it from reading documentation. But I also like it wasn't really hard to transition into TypeScript because uh, I oh wait I forgot wait what am I talking about? I actually also have a video on my channel. I have a TypeScript crash course on my channel that you guys can check out if you guys want. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna shamelessly plug my own videos. Why not? Here we go. Uh, can TypeScript be compiled to JS automatically? Uh, I mean, with, if you use a, there's, there are tools that you can do to compile, but yes, you can just run a command and you'll and it'll it'll, uh, it'll compile it. You basically add the button as a message command. You add an ID to the button label. And so on. I see. So only bots can send buns. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's actually pretty cool. So let me see something real quick. So components. Components. They are slow and laggy. All right, well, I'm going to head out. It's almost 2 a.m. from here. All right, Radicals, take it easy, man. Nice seeing you here. Hope to see you on my next stream. I'm very experienced with Java. Just never heard of TypeScript. TypeScript. Yeah, TypeScript is honestly, a, I would recommend learning it. Imagine embeds, but you send it with string messages. Okay, so so these interactions are kind of similar to embeds. But they, but uh, let's see. There's, 
but you can click on it and there's like a uh, there's an event that is fired message button hmm <sighs> Where can I find the documentation for that? Uh, Death78, welcome to the stream. I really recommend you to use the NPM package. It makes Discord bunch much easier. Okay, I'll look into it. Uh, bro, do I know ethical hacking? I don't, sorry. All right, Cal, thanks for joining the stream, man. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Uh, hold on. Let me just see this through the doc, because I, I, I want to try to see if I can find it through the documentation real quick. Someone said there's like a, there's like an event... There's an on-click event for this button, right? You remember Chill Ring? That was that thing was something. Was it actually? Yeah, it was a it was a small server, and it was pretty it was pretty chill, in my opinion. I shouldn't have ever deleted the. Uh, I shouldn't have ever deleted it, but you know, I I can always remake one, sometime in the future. Tries Velt for once. Uh, sure, maybe. After ages, damn. Uh, Y'all, welcome to the stream, Unaru. Or whatever you want to, or whatever you'd like me to call you. The interaction, the interaction create event is emitted when a button is pressed. Oh, is it? Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Where is... Damn, it's been... Wow, it's been so long since I've... Since I've uh... Yo, Death78, thanks for the... Uh, I'm not sure what currency that is. What currency is that? I have no idea what currency. Whatever it is, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. Rupees. Okay, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the 20 rupees. Uh, never last time I looked into Discord Docs, but wasn't there. Still can't believe you got that Traversy deal. Yeah, honestly, I was really doubting myself because I, w I remember that day I was like, yo, should I actually ask him? Because I remember he made a video... Uh, saying that he wants developers, guest developers on there. Uh, so I was like, okay, let me let me give it a shot. And he actually surprisingly, uh, he actually surprisingly messaged me, emailed me back, like within an hour or so. And he was really chill, like, you know, like he was he was a really nice guy, you know what I mean? Like he was really nice. He replied back and he said, yeah, like you know, and and that, and the nice thing was was that you know he didn't really, you know, like think of any different, with, you know, just because like you know. Like, I was, like, a smaller channel. He didn't really think of us as any different. Like, there was actually this uh, server that we had. Or not we, like, that they had. And it was full of, like, developers who had YouTube channels. And it didn't even matter how many subscribers you had. Like, I know there were some people who had, like, like less than a 1,000 subs. And, you know, they all treated each other, like, you know, equally and with respect and stuff. So it was pretty chill. Like, you know, there was a lot of people. Like, there was Gary Simon. There was Net Ninja. There was, uh, I think Ben Awad was on that server too. I didn't really, I didn't really talk much on the server, uh, but yeah, there was a lot of people on that server that you know, um, then like you know that made videos and stuff. I'm sure you guys have probably heard, heard of them before. Did you check out GitHub Copilot? No, what is that? Uh, Alberto, yo, what's up, man? Yo, how's everything going, man? I I definitely remember you, bro. I hope everything is going well for you. Uh, what's get up copilot? Oh, I think didn't Brad make a video on that too? I think Brad made a video about copilot too. It's kind of like doesn't it kind of like have like some AI and stuff? Yo, death. Thanks for the uh, nineteen rupees again. I appreciate it. You don't have to donate by the way, but I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, I saw a video. I didn't really look too much into it, but I did see a little video on that. Uh, am I on the wrong interaction? See, can't find it. Yeah, it's an AI completion tool. Yeah, I'll look into it. Interaction create. I'm not finding it for some reason. Is it, just not, is it not documented? I'm using every day. You don't have to do any repetitive task crossing. If I only work a couple of times, what you want to do is when you just have an You know, it's crazy because like here's the thing. I took a break from just like 
coding on the side for like roughly like about like if I'm being honest, like I really didn't pay much attention to coding for like a while. Like okay, like I'm, I'm talking about side projects, right? Side projects and learning on my own because I've mostly just been focusing on like my job. Like I only like I mostly just coded like for my job, right? But when it came to like learning new things on the side, I kind of haven't really looked much into it. So it's crazy because I took a break for like a few months and a few months go by and there's already a lot of things that have that have already came out already. And I feel like I'm like years behind already, you know? That's the crazy part about this field is that uh, there's so many new things that are being implemented like every single day. Right. Every 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 like every single day, every single week, there's going to be new software that's being released that's going to help developers out a lot. So it's crazy how like you know there's so many new things to learn in this field, which is what I like about. It's, it's why I like this field, and it's becoming, and, and it's really competitive too. Uh, bro, I want to go into cybersecurity and I want to do a job in it. So can you suggest what skills and which languages? Uh, I mean to be honest with you, I'm not really so familiar with cybersecurity. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I just don't want to give you, I just don't want to say, I, I just don't want to give you misleading information. So maybe someone here who is better with cybersecurity and knows more about cybersecurity can advise you. I just personally don't know much about cybersecurity and I just don't want to give you like, you know, the wrong information. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't want to, you know, maybe, maybe there's someone here who can probably help you out. Like if anyone here knows much about cybersecurity, they can probably give like their input. Um, got a meeting, got to hop off now. See, I tried to look at Slappy again. Would you? All right, yeah, I'll, 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 I can't make any promises, but I'll definitely uh, take a look at it when the time comes. But thanks for, th thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, Copilot is kind of lame in my opinion. Just takes the fun away from coding for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I can feel you on that. Welcome back, Ahmed. Can we expect a video on new handler using DJs thirteen slash implementation? Uh, yeah, at some point. Thanks for your time, Anson. Yeah, of course. No worries. I got plenty of time in the world, so. Yo, that 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 sent me. Thanks for the twenty rupees again. I appreciate it. I don't know much about cybersecurity, but my friend uses Python for hacking. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Now I really can't find the. Uh, I really can't find the documentation for it all. I recommend you watch Network Chuck if you want to get to cybersecurity. There are also websites like Try Hacking, which are gold, or check some GitHub documentations on the topic. Yeah, there we go, Death78. Uh, I work as a full stack developer, so I don't do cybersecurity, I do full stack. When Python version for Slappy? Uh, I have no idea, I'm sorry, I can't really tell you when. Integration create. Yeah, but in integration create is something different though, isn't that integration is with like YouTube and Twitch, for example. Uh, I'm a bad programmer. How can I improve my skills? Uh, well, first you have to figure out what it is that you're that you're bad with. Like, like, is there a specific thing that you feel like you're bad at? Like, are you like, are you bad at making apps? Are you bad at learning new tools? Like, what is what is, what is it exactly? Uh, yo, I yo, I also want to become a full stack web dev. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's a good field to get into, in my opinion. There's lots of resources out there. Anyone that tells you there that there's no resources out there, they're lying to you. They're lying to you. <sighs> oh, okay, I see. So the interaction itself will be like is button. So if it's a button, uh, methods. I'm just trying to see the documentation for the event because someone said that there was, uh, like like there was like an event or something like that. So I'm just trying to find like the documentation for that. Uh, 
Bro, sorry for an inappropriate question. You're gonna have so much packages and folders. Are you asking, do you mean the pay? Like, are you talking about the salary? Because you said package. I think you mean salary, right? Uh, check this code. Just because it's for new changes. Okay, sure. Let me check that out real quick. Discord.js guide. Bro, I'm really, I'm really fucking hungry right now. Holy shit. I, I made dinner earlier, but it wasn't really much. Like, I made something really small, but I actually, like, uh, didn't add any meat. I'm really freaking hungry right now. I might just, like, fucking make some cereal or something, because I don't, I don't really want to eat out. I don't really want to eat out. Um, let me see. I might, I might make some cereal after I get off. We'll see. Uh, okay, in terms of salary, that really depends on uh, where you live. Like, in the United States, you can expect average salary to be, like, $70,000 $70, a year. Uh, yeah, you can DM the link to me. I I'd appreciate that. Thank you. I guess I'm bad at learning. I watch tutorials instead of trying to make something myself. Well, it's okay to watch tutorials, but it's just like you gotta st you gotta learn the basics first, right? Because if you're just watching like a video on React, that's not gonna help your case if you don't know the basics of JavaScript. You're gonna be very confused. So you need to make sure you learn the basics of programming first. That is the very first step. If you do, you, so the question that I have for you is: Do you already know the basics of programming? That's the first thing that I'd ask you. Uh, scroll all the way down. There we go. Okay. With the components API, you can create interact message components on this page. Of so if I were to upgrade this, if I were to use the dev branch right now, I could send, I can send buttons, right? Like I can have my bot send buttons. Like that can, that works right now, right? Like it should work just fine, right? Like the Discord, the actual Discord API supports it. Bro, what skills I need for full stack development? Uh, okay. All right. All right. Tomorrow or this weekend when I have some time, I'll, I'll play around with it. I'll play around with it tomorrow when I have some time. Uh, what skills do you need for full site development? Uh, well, you would need to make sure you know front end, back end, and you need to know a little bit about databases. And you would, and some some work some companies require you, you some some teams will expect you to know how to test components. So I would say if you if you but if you can if you can get front end and back end and some databases, if you can get that down, then I think you should be fine. All right, thanks. I appreciate. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll take a look at it. Uh, I'll take a look at it tomorrow. Yes, I know bakes of jigs, but sometimes I struggle, so I watch tutorials. Um, mm hmm. It's kind of hard for me to really kind of advise you because I don't really know what's like your main issue. Like I would have to like you know sit one on a one with you and kind of like talk to you, and kind of like you know see what the issue is right like like what is it do you think that you struggle with when it comes to watching tutorials like like when you watch a video do you have trouble following along with what they're doing do you have trouble like like what do you think that that's the problem like you got to figure that out like if you feel like there's an issue with you paying attention to what's going on with the person going about with what they're teaching you like if it's that or you feel like it's just too confusing what exactly is it any docs to learn front end and back end? Uh, you know, I actually don't have like a whole list with me right now, but you can definitely find a bunch online. Um, I really gotta, I really gotta get my blog back up again. You know, honestly, I've been thinking about uh, making vlog videos, like addressing all of these questions, because I ha I get these questions all the time. Whenever I stream. I get a lot of questions from people about, you know, what's the best way to learn full stack? What's the best way to do this and that? And I feel like, you know, I should start making videos like this so that people would find them useful. Because I know there's a lot of people who ask these questions a lot and I wouldn't mind answering it. So, but, you know, there's definitely a lot of, uh, you know, there's definitely a lot of resources out there. I just can't get you a list right now because there's so many. I would just suggest that you look up on Google, uh, you know, and there's, there's a lot that you can find. Yeah, or you can just also post on Discord server. You can just post on Discord server. And uh, the thing is, is, like, there's there's tons of resources, right? Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
there are tons of resources that exist, right? So I can send you one. I can send you one, but if that doesn't work, then you can always find a new one that will work for you. Uh, will the React series continue maybe later? Uh, which React series? Because I actually have two, but uh, I mean, I plan on making a brand new React series soon. If that gives you some insight. I have, look, guys, listen. I am so backed up right now. I have so many videos that I have planned. Be prepared because I am going to be uploading like crazy within like the next couple of months or so. Uh, I have a lot of things planned out because I'm so behind with a lot of things. I got to catch up with React. I got to catch up with Discord JS. I got to catch up with, you know, making Discord bots. I got to catch up with a lot of things. So I'm pretty behind right now. Okay. So, so don't, don't, don't worry. There's, there's going to be lots of videos coming out soon. I, I promise you guys. That's one promise that I will definitely keep. Okay. Uh, I just really didn't have much of the mental capacity to make videos the past couple of months because I've, I've just been really in like a really horrible mental situation like the past couple of months because I've been at home. I've been super depressed. All I did was I just worked and I just played video games all day. And I just felt overwhelmed because all I did before was I just coded a lot. Like back, like last year when we were going through the pandemic, I mean, it was kind of suitable for me because... I literally did nothing but just stay at home and that was okay because I really didn't really go outside much uh, Because I, I lived in like a suburban neighborhood and I didn't really have a car and to really get to places You kind of really need a car or uh, and you know, or you could take the bus Right, so I was just kind of stuck at home and I, there was really not much to do like I couldn't really go out I didn't have a car It was too expensive for me to afford to afford a car because it was just ridiculously expensive with like how much I'd have to pay for car insurance so here, like, you know, now that I've actually moved, right, now that I've actually moved to, like, a new place, like, I'm actually able to, you know, do do new things. Like, I don't have to go back to staying on the computer 24-7 like I used to before. Like, I'm actually going out and driving around, doing stuff, exploring, like, the area, getting used to the place, you know, seeing how things are, you know. You know what I mean? Like, that. that's just what I've been focusing on. But obviously, those things are going to... Though those things are just like a temporary vibe, like it's just it's just like a temporary phase. Like I'm definitely going to be getting back into making videos and streaming because I really quite, I actually really enjoy streaming, and just chatting, and just making videos and stuff. I actually quite enjoy that. Like that's what keeps me motivated, and that that's what keeps me, uh, you know, feeling productive. You know, making videos, streaming. Uh, accomplishing something at the end of the day. That's really what kept me going last year was just making videos all the time and just seeing like, you know, the subscribers going up, seeing the view count go up, seeing like, you know, revenue, seeing, um, you know, members going up all, all and just seeing comments, interaction, all that kind of stuff, right? Right now, like the subscribers and all that kind of stuff, like I said, I've taken a break. So it's, it's, it's reasonable that it's kind of been really slow, but don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna work our way back up there. We're gonna work our way back up there. So you know, like like I said, like I took a break and that's on me, but we're gonna work our way back up there. So that's that's just gonna be a, a temporary goal that I'm gonna work on. My country is very bad and no job opportunities. So I want to come in U.S. or any foreign country for a job in IT. Yeah, like there's tons of jobs in the U.S. There's also tons of jobs in in Europe too. Um, that you can that you can look for. India is not that bad, dude. Surely new opportunities will arrive. Yeah, bro. What's the minimum PC specs you need for becoming a full stack? I mean, honestly, you could literally code on like, like a like a computer with like four gigs of RAM, in my opinion. Uh, you can, it depends on what you want to develop, though. Like, if you want to develop like you know Node.js apps, it shouldn't take up much RAM. But if you want to do more things, like it might eat up a lot more RAM, so you got to be careful. Like nowadays, I'd recommend, you know, at least four gigs, but I would say to be safe, eight gigs of RAM should be good enough. Eight gigs of RAM, you know, like, you know, you don't really need like the best CPU. Like you can literally code on like, you know, like a $50 PC and you'll be fine. You know, so you don't have to stress so much about, uh, you know, you don't have to stress so much about like the PC specs that you have. Just, you know, and anything, anything would work fine, you know, anything would work fine. Anything, anything would have worked fine. 
Uh, also, do you know that message content is going to become a privileged intent? What does that mean again? It means that you have to enable it. Like, that's so dumb. Why are they doing that? That's so dumb. So doesn't that mean, doesn't that mean that you need like to get your bot verified or something? If it's in more than 50, more than 50 guilds, are you still working on slappy or smally slappy? Yeah, slappy is what it's called. Uh, no, I have not. I have not worked on it for a while. Wait, so what's okay. So I, I'm I, so wait, hold on. I wasn't really paying much attention. So what do you mean by they want more devs to move to slash commands? Like, do you mean like slash commands don't require intents or something? Is, is that what it is? Like slash commands don't require intents? Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. These are, these are, these are definitely notes that I need to uh, note down. Uh, you need to provide the reason why you need the intent. Last question, can you, can you tell me a roadmap for a full, st full study developer? Uh, let me see if I can find a video. Cause I know there's this one video that someone made that I would highly recommend. And the reason why I'm linking you this video is because this is actually a really good video. And I actually uh, have seen this guy's video before. So I'd recommend it. It's a pretty long video, but I would recommend watching it. Uh, Zypris, hello, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you. By the way, in the next stream, I promise you guys, the quality of the stream will be a lot better. You guys will be able to watch in 1080p, maybe even 1440p. Hopefully my internet provider doesn't like, you know, throttle my bandwidth or, or like, you know, like, like, you know, screw up my internet or something. Because here in Arizona, like the internet, the, the ISPs that we have are pretty garbage. Like back in New York, I was using Verizon Fios, but here in Arizona, we have pretty garbage ISPs. So, uh, like, so like the one that I, the one that I got fortunately was, uh, I, I like I have unlimited data, but they have they have data caps on their on their uh, on their internet plans, which is pretty dumb. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. So next stream will definitely be a lot more better. Um, I'm probably gonna stream tomorrow around the same time. Or I might try streaming like maybe I might I'm, I'm, I might try streaming in the afternoon on the weekend. But we'll see what happens. I'm gonna play around with uh, I'm gonna play around with all of this new information that I'm getting that I got from you guys today. So I definitely appreciate you guys for joining the chat and just, you know, enlightening me on all the new stuff that's been going on with Discord. Do I still use Python? I have not really touched Python. Uh, I haven't really touched Python much. The last thing that I did with Python was I used, uh, I used Flask. I mean, not Flask, Django. Uh, but that was, that was really all I've done, to be honest with you. But yeah, anyways, um, I'll stick around for like, you know, a couple more minutes if you guys have any other questions and then I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off. I'll probably I'm probably just gonna go out for uh I'm just probably just gonna go out for a drive or something and just you know I don't know, I might just go grab some coffee or something because I don't have any coffee at home. I'll probably just I'll stick around for a couple more minutes if you guys have any questions. If not then I'm just gonna head off and wish you guys a good night or a good morning or a good afternoon wherever you guys are. Is Finland a good place to study uh, CSE? Uh, I personally do not know. I'm not. I I don't really know much about Finland. I know that Finland has free education. Um, but I'm not really too sure. I'm sorry. What time is it where you live? Uh, well, you can see the time right now. Oh, it's probably blocked, but it's currently 11:58 p.m. It's almost 12 a.m. So it's almost about to be. Uh, it's almost about to be Wednesday. Uh, yo, Death70, thank you again for uh, the 69 rupees. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, take your time and take care. Yeah, no worries, man. I got to get my structure going, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Uh, Andromeda. Yo, and yo, what's up? What's up, Andromeda? How's it going? Uh, what, it's 3 a.m. where I live? Yeah. I mean, I think, that, were you here last time? I mean, yeah, like I said, like I used to live in New York, so... It's it's three. I'm three hours behind now from where I used to live. You only use Windows for all the coding. Uh, yeah, I usually I usually uh, code on Windows. I I really don't like coding on Mac or uh, or Linux. Uh, your your Insta ad bro. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm probably gonna go to the gym right now, and uh, I'll probably go to the gym, and uh, come back shower and go to sleep.
it's still pretty early. I'm, I'm not going to really sleep until it's like 2 a.m. My sleep is really messed up right now. Like, I usually sleep around like 2 a.m. and I wake up at like, like 6, 7 a.m. And, uh, you know, yeah, I really got to get my old sleep schedule back on track. It's just really frustrating sometimes. Like, it works out for me, but, like, you know, it's just really annoying. Do I use Instagram? No, not really. I don't. I don't really use social media. I'll probably make one later uh, so that you guys can follow maybe, maybe in the future. Yeah, like, I uh, I used to wake up at 4 a.m. and I would sleep at, like, 7 to 8 p.m. and I'd wake up at 4. But... It's just really, it's just been really difficult keeping up with that. I mean, I don't know. I, I gotta fix it. I've tried taking melatonin to kind of like fix it, but it just kind of like, it just didn't work out for me, you know? So I, I don't know. But anyways, uh, anyways, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off. So thank you guys so much for checking out the stream. I really appreciate it. Very surprising to see all of you guys watching, chatting with me. Nice to see a lot of familiar faces too. Um, how can you contact me? Uh, I have a Discord. I have a Discord link in the description. Just check the description and click on the Discord link, and then that's and then you, you can you can you can DM me on you can you can uh, not DM you can ping me on Discord. I would prefer uh, I would prefer pings because I get lots of DMs. So it, like you know it's just easier for me to reply via pings because. I don't, so that way I don't like lose all the messages, you know? And plus I, I rarely like, you know, check my Discord like during the day because I'm just like busy with like, and, cause like I said, I'm not really on my computer during the day. I'm, I'm usually like on my work computer most of the time. Um, anyways, uh, anyways, so yeah, thank, like I said, thank you guys for joining the stream. I really appreciate it. Uh, next stream, we're going to just try to get some stuff going with coding and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys 